the 12th century, the Mongol hordes of Genghis Khan came swarming westward out of the Gobi Desert. Having conquered China, Persia, and Russia, they are now invading Poland. The bloodthirsty ambition of Genghis Khan is to capture the Polish stronghold, Krakow. But for the first time, and after many victories, the Mongol tribes learn the bitter taste of defeat. Son. That's the only way to close my wound. My pain is nothing compared to our defeat. And my suffering is less than nothing compared to your pain, Kubilai. But now the Polish can never be defeated, even with the might of the Mongols. That soldier there told me he saw a very strange power that defeated us. It seemed like a hurricane. Please come and listen to him, Kubilai. Did you see this hurricane? Maybe it was shaped like a man. It was a giant. If he was so big, why didn't I see him? Calm yourself, Kubilai, or your wound will reopen. The battering ram in his hands seemed like a twig. He wasn't single-handed. He even frightened the horses. And my fellow soldiers who saw him are all dead. Our enemies, the Christians, call him Hercules. Now I know what you were so afraid of, you crawling worms. Your own fear, your own cowardice. You lost us, Krakow. You'll pay for your villainous fears. Oh, great Kubilai, the Emperor Genghis Khan awaits you in Tornopol. You mustn't leave now. You have to rest, I beg you. Get the horses ready. No! 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 Now there's no one left who's seen the hurricane. The Mongols have nicknamed you the hurricane. I wish that I really could travel that fast. Are you going to join Armina now? That's fine. Good luck, Hercules. Traitor, enter! I see no reason why you should be alive. You promised me that you would conquer the city of Krakow. You didn't keep your word. Let the witnesses speak. 
The defeat of Krakow is due to one man, Kubalai. And the victory at Samarkand was due to one man, Kubalai. It is useless to recall our victories when just one defeat spoils all. The bravery of Kubalai is undisputed, my lord. Many young warriors, like myself, wish to be at his side in the attack on the city of Krakow. Hold your tongue, younger son. It'll be a long time before we can attack a western city again. They prepared their defense too well. What have you got to say? I ask only to fight again. You have until the next full moon, Kubilai, to either sell or kill your slaves and your women. From that moment on, neither the moon nor the sun will shine on you without feeling shame. I accept your law, my great sovereign. I've been told of the order of Genghis Khan. I want you to be the one to kill me. You brought me this from Samarkand. Do you remember? Yes. I prefer to die rather than be sold. No one means anything to me. But I've always been faithful to you. No, wait. No one means anything to me except that Polish prisoner. I must know his secret. I must know it before I die. Come with me. This old man, he's lost his mind. No, he's not mad. On the contrary, these past few years, he's been making a lot of sense. No, make no mistake. That reptile has kept his secret very well. One that could have won his Krakow and all of Poland, too. But now he's completely blind. No one must ever know that but me. Speak. <laughs> I'm asking for the last time. For the last time, answer, Christian dog. How oh, many times have you told me it was the last time? I'm used to it by now. I'm not afraid anymore. Uh -oh. Don't you want to feel the warmth of the sun again? Not to live as a prisoner anymore? To live among your own people freely? How long have I been here? <laughs> Twenty years. Twenty years. Are you certain that I will go free? That's your decision. All I want is to sleep. <sighs> I'm going to burn your face. Ah! And then you can sleep forever. Flames, flames, just like it was then. We must get away. Save the sign of the star. Everything's burning. We're being invaded by the Mongols. They have no pity for anyone. Yes, take her away. Yes, yes, to a village far away where no one will ever find her. Wait, wait, I must tell you her name. Go, I don't want you to hear this.
So you see, all isn't lost after all. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? What is it, Armina? It's wonderful news. You have to guess. Hercules is arriving here soon. Yes, a soldier who just came from Krakow told me. Do you still love him? More than ever. Then you've decided. If you approve, Father. <laughs> The important thing is that you're happy. Have you had a good life with me? You're the most wonderful father a daughter could ever want. I'm sorry we've always been poor. Oh, but that's never bothered me. And besides, it isn't a sin to be poor. You were born for a different life. What are you trying to say, Father? She was watching my goats and making mysterious signs, and then I found one of the dead. That's what she did. She must All die. All witches must die. She, she must alive. die. She wants her life to be peaceful again. She's a witch. What has she done? Ever since the stranger arrived, my daughter has been delirious with fever. True. How did the stranger do this? She stopped her and spoke to her. Is this true? Yes. I asked her for the way. She touched my daughter and bewitched her. Yes. I caressed her out of gratitude. You see, she's confessed. This is my house. Get out. Give us the stranger and we'll go. We'll bring yeah, her her to us. You're savage beasts, not Christians. Tell us, speak for us. You're our advisor and we're asking you for justice. If you want justice, you'll get it. But without killing blindly. We trust your judgment. Now leave so that I can speak to this woman alone. Go on now. Get out! But if the stranger is the devil, then you must deliver her to him. All right, I will. First, I want to speak to her alone.
Don't worry. In our house, no one can harm you. You have a scar, don't you? Oh, I've had it since I was a child. My father says it makes me more interesting. By now, I'm used to it. Cover it. You know I don't like it to be seen. I've never seen a scar just like that. It's in the form of a star. It's a pity, Armina, that you've never been away from here. But Hercules promised to take me along when he travels. I know a city with tall houses, red roofs, and the cupolas are golden. It's called Krakow. Krakow. I feel as if I know that place. There's a river. How do you know that? I don't know. Perhaps I just heard it. Or I could have dreamed it. When I was a child, I was always dreaming. And what did you dream of? There was always a huge room full of light with beautiful, soft carpets. I'd love the feeling of real carpets because I've only walked through fields or over dirt roads. However, once I had a dream that frightened me. It's never left my mind. Someone took hold of me. Everyone else was running. There were big flames. And then I screamed. Amina. Aren't you tired of gossiping? Why don't you go to sleep? Right away, Father. We don't think you're a witch. Sleep well. Throw me a rope. I'm not able to see you, my friend, and I have no intention of throwing a rope to you. I just want to make sure that you're dead. Who are you? I am here to avenge the defeat of Krakow for the one you've condemned, Kublai.
Hercules! 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 I must have hit him. We'd better return to camp before sundown. Calling. Hey! Is there someone down there? Throw me a rope, it's on my horse. Of course, one moment. How did you fall in there? I'll tell you later, Father. We must be quick now. But why? I fear something dreadful is going to happen. Where's Armina? What happened to her? Uh, I kidnapped her. Her father was defending her and he was killed. Who kidnapped her? I don't know. Well, who was it? I don't know! Why are you certain she was kidnapped if you didn't see it? Because there was no one to see. From the very moment you arrived in our village, the evil eye has cursed all of our houses. Burn her at the stake! No! Burn her at the stake! She's a witch! You must die! No! Oh, oh. No! 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 No, no, that's not the way. She's a witch. There's only one way to free us from her spell. No! Yes! Yeah. Come on! The stake with her! Let's burn her! for you to confess your sins. You must die now. When you die, my daughter will get well. Now, 
now we'll be freed from your evil spell. <laughs> Wasn't I? I believe you. Why did all this happen? Why have they kidnapped Armina? I would like to speak with Hercules in your presence, Father. You heard her, my children. You must wait outside. Father, my life is dedicated to... to a secret regarding Armina. And I can't reveal it. But I would like you to see King Vladimir. He ordered me to come here. How do I know you are telling the truth instead of only trying to evade justice? Would you hear my confession? Certainly, my child. You'll do well to follow the advice of the stranger. And if you would like my advice too, Hercules, it's this, you'll hurry. Thank you. My children, one day soon you'll all be told the truth. And on that day your hearts will be filled with joy. I'll go a little way with you, my friend.
You may speak, Kubilai. What is she called? As yet, I don't know her real name. But one thing is certain. It can be identified with the throne of Krakow. I wish to speak to you about an idea I have. Great Khan. We can attack Krakow some other time. Take her to the castle. You say that a girl as delicate and lovely as this is equivalent to a city? I think you exaggerate, Kubilai. Come here. <laughs> Why, well, she's more like a dove. <laughs> the only thing missing are the wings. <laughs> Sovereign Khan, I want to restore your faith in me. You remember when we fought the Battle of Govorad? One of the prisoners I captured was a nobleman. His crazy babbling always troubled me. He was speaking of her when he said, the sign of the star. Save her. Save the princess. It's only in the past few days that I've been able to reconstruct the whole story and find out where the girl was hiding. This girl is the heiress to the throne of Krakow and thus to half of Poland. A queen? You may speak if you wish. Who are you? This man is mistaken. I'm the daughter of a shepherd. Either you don't know, or you're pretending not to know your origin. I propose to find out which. With your permission, great Genghis Khan. I shall bring into your presence my Polish prisoner. The prisoner! That's not all. While I was searching for the girl, I discovered that she knew a man called Hercules. He's been captured and rendered harmless. When Hercules finds out you've kidnapped me, he'll save me. I'm sure of that. Who is this Hercules? An imposter. That's not even his name. Did young Gazan help you with this plan of yours? Yes. must never be told that you were saved. We carried you to a village. When your star had grown, you were to become queen. There was no other way to rescue you from the Mongols of Genghis Khan. They have kept me buried alive with my memories of the past and forced me to relive those last terrible hours. No, no. You mustn't use your real name. You will say that... You will say, your name is Amina. The day will come when you reclaim the name that is yours. I thought we'd exterminated the whole family. No one in your village must ever know. When the time comes, you will be queen. Poland's throne is yours. Don't speak anymore. You must obey. Yara. Yeah. 
my daughter. The king of Poland is dead. You are Chiara of Poland. This girl is worth a kingdom. will not try to attack Krakow again. Therefore, we might as well get out of Poland. There's nothing for us to do now except to attack and reconquer Tornopol. Good news. I would like to speak with our defender of Krakow. Let's go. Doubtless. The Mongols have discovered the true identity of Armina. They'll use her as a hostage. They won't succeed. I shall rescue her. Armina means everything to me. There's something I have to tell you. In a certain sense, I share the sentiments you've shown toward Armina. I don't understand. The father of Armina and my father decided to unite the two kingdoms to form a bigger and stronger Poland. This was their pact, and they swore to keep it. And you cannot break this union between me and the woman you've only known by the name of Armina. And who in reality is Chiara of Poland? Our bond is sacred. Armina's father disappeared 20 years ago in the Battle of Govorod. I'm glad that Armina has been friends with a man as brave as you. But now the national interest takes precedence over personal feelings. Only a united Poland can resist and overcome the aggressions of Genghis Khan. Now, you are free to renounce your pledge to save Chiara of Poland. Or should I say, Armina. Armina is a queen. If I save her, I shall lose her forever. I'm sorry. Very well. I have decided. I shall renounce my claim on her. But I shall rescue her just the same. No one has ever made a gesture more noble than yours. But the king insists that you leave as soon as you've sworn to renounce her. He's right. He wants me to accompany you. He thinks it would be easier to enter Tornopol if you were with me.
tired? I prefer to go on. We still have a long way. If you can keep on going, I'd like to travel until sunset. before the wolves come. Hercules. Yes? Sleep well. Good night. you do that? Aren't we leaving? Yes, but on foot. If the horses were to make the smallest sound, it would draw the attention of the Mongols. You're right. I'll try to make it. Oh, let's hurry. Tomorrow at daybreak, we must be in Tornopol. Genghis Khan. Yes, I'm certain. I don't want to take too many risks with you along. How will we get across? I know how. Wait a minute. There's no point of turning back. Come on. Don't look down. Ah! No. No. Save me. Give me your hand. Mind you, don't look down. That's it.
Someone's coming. Maybe it's the Mongols. We'd better hide. We were afraid it was the Mongols. Are you ill? No, it's nothing. Tomorrow I'll be feeling better. Thank you. Don't you see everything's against us so far? It seems to be a prediction of our destiny. But why should you take so many risks? Armina's been captured by the Mongols. And they've never released anyone. I'm certain that she's been taken far away from here. But I feel she's still in Tornopol. You know the Mongols well, Hercules. And you know the fate they reserve for their prisoners. Isn't it better to forget than to see the terrible torture she suffered? That's enough. Forgive me. But I don't want to see you suffer. And within a few days, Vladimir's soldiers are attacking the Mongols. It's better that he take revenge and save the life of the woman he's to marry. I've given my word. I'm going to Tarnopol. I know you'll feel better. Answer my question. He's been gone since daybreak. decision. You will marry Ogotai, my son, the best warrior in the empire. The Queen of Poland refuses to obey you. You'll join Ogotai in Asia. I prefer death to marrying your son. Through the centuries, our women have obeyed us and fulfilled our desires. And so will you. Cause of the tide. More trouble than the Chinese. Help! 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 What's happened? To make
make fast time. We were moving through the swampland. Thanks for your aid, my friend. My name's Perez. Where are you going? To Tornopole. To Tornopole? Yes, we amuse them all. The Mongols and the Poles. As acrobats, we haven't any homeland. Hmm. You could earn yourself a fortune with your strength. Hmm. Why don't you come with us? I'll pay you well, eh? I accept. What's your name? Maybe someday I'll tell you my name. But now I can't. It was my strength that saved me, not my name.
rest of the universe, I have set aside a unique spectacle for your attention. A mortal man whose strength borders on the supernatural. His equal has never been seen, neither in the heavens nor in earth. My own countryman, Hercules Reborn. <laughs> mystery or a trick. Why not try that? Are you sure that you killed Hercules? I know I did. I shot him while the serpent was choking the life out of him. Is your champion able to wrestle with Mike Gregor? My lord, may I suggest that they duel to the death? It might prove more interesting. Does your man agree to this? Agree to it. Say yes. Yes. Lances.
me live. No. Have pity. disobeyed your orders. He's the one who should die. And I want your counsel, I'll ask you. Is that clear? This man will live. Are you interested in knowing the name of the man who showed mercy to Craigar? Yes. But I don't trust you. You went away from us and you've been away too long. My father was a Mongol. You mustn't forget it. That's the girl I was talking about. She watched you closely. Arius. Open it. You know her? What are you doing here? Don't ask me anything. Come with me. Uh... You can trust him. I believe I can take you to Armina. Armina? Where is she? There's no time to waste. Hurry. I must go at once, my friend. What I have to do is you're to... You're going to release her from the Mongols if you're able to. Can I be of any use to you? You've done more than your share. Take your children to safety. Open the gate. I wish you luck. Let's go. Safe. What have you done? Thank you. 
Anyone who breaks into the house of Genghis Khan must die. Your turn has come. What are you doing? I trapped him here, but the pact was that you wouldn't touch him. You promised me. <clears throat> In front of me, you swore to Arius that you'd honor your pledge. way the Mongols would see us. I want to go with you. They would kill you on the way out. I want you to come, but I must leave you here. Don't worry, I'll return soon. This I promise you. God will protect us. Christians send their servants to get you. We prefer to use our own hands. As a queen, you have the right to refuse any proposal of marriage made to you. I'm thinking of Ogotai. I believe that our laws were explained to you. According to our custom, you can only refuse once. You're about to get another husband. One you don't even deserve. A better man than Ogotai. Me. Pig. I'll never marry you. Don't come any nearer, I'll kill you. Uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> you show real courage, like a queen. That's the way I like my women. You're fit to stand at my side. I doubt that the great Khan knows of your idea. As a matter of fact, you're right. But I'll chance that. Tomorrow morning, Genghis Khan is leaving to see my brother, Ogatai. But he'll never get there alive to see him. <laughs> of great importance. Genghis Khan, the emperor of the Mongols, has been killed, and they say that his sons are already struggling for the succession. This is the moment we've been hoping for. Victory's at hand. And tomorrow, Tornopol will be ours. Forward! centuries this area has belonged to Poland. You Mongols took it by ignoring and breaking all our treaties. <laughs> if you do not withdraw your attack, I cannot be responsible for her life.
yourself. <laughs> to kill you right now. You're coming with me. Go and save Armina. you say isn't true and that it was only a dream you were having now I understand I was drugged I did what he ordered me to do without knowing it you spoke of Genghis Khan Genghis Khan you said with your own hands you Genghis Khan. I killed him. 
I've committed the most treacherous act in the history of the Mongols. Go on. Avenge Genghis Khan. Once again, Polish. The cavalry must ride after the Mongols. We have won. During these years of the Mongols' oppression, I was hidden in a village. No one told me who I was. We put you there for your own safety. I thank you. I have fulfilled our parents' oath to our countries. It was your father who saved you when you were small. Yes, I know that. All those years, he was a prisoner of the Mongols. He resisted all their tortures and beatings without telling them anything. When I finally saw him, he was almost dead. God has willed that you should be saved for our people. At last, there will be a queen on the throne of Poland. Once again, our own flags fly above our liberated country. The invader has been thrown back. Homeless people can now return to their city, and they will quickly bury the events of the years of oppression in their joy of the home they have found again. The defeated warrior is leaving our borders. Let us hope forever. You are now our chief. We await your orders. We're abandoning this country and returning to Mongolia. I know. You swore to give me up so you could save me. But I also had to take a solemn oath. I was queen for a very short time. But during my reign, I released you from your pledge. I have entrusted Poland to those who are more capable of ruling. I want only to be Armenia and to have you close to me. And I will love you. 